What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rip City Rundown. And we've got a Final Four matchup to talk about, to preview, to give my prediction. And it is honestly probably one of the, like, I don't want to say these teams aren't popular. Or st they just There's not a lot of name brand in this Final Four game. And to some people, that's a great thing. And to some people, hate it. Some people want to see the Blue Bloods. Some people love to see so-called Cinderella stories like this, even though I don't think either of these teams are necessarily Cinderella's. But we've got San Diego State out of the Mountain West and Florida Atlantic out of the Conference USA. Whoever ends up winning this game, making the national title, possibly winning the national title, is going to do so much for their program and for their conference. Florida Atlantic's actually leaving the Conference USA after this season, but let's talk about it. We'll talk about San Diego State first. Their game against Creighton just ended. They win a tight one, 57-56, and the reason San Diego State has gotten this far is because of their defense. Defense, defense, defense. No team has scored more than 65 points. Charleston, great offense, only 57 points. Furman, pretty good offense, 52 points. Alabama, one of the best offenses in the nation, 64 points. Creighton had been a great offense all throughout the tournament and just have a lot of elite offensive players, 56 points. San Diego State is slowing the game down so much and making the other team struggle. Creighton, only 11% from three in this game. That's why they lost. And then another reason for San Diego State's success is they're deep. Again, their top scorer, Matt Bradley. Bad game. Only one of eight from the field, two points. But they were able to get scoring from Lamont Butler. He had 18 points. They were able to get scoring from Tremel. He had 12. Mensa continued to be a beast down low. He had three blocks, eight points, six rebounds. You don't know where you're going to get the scoring. And you don't have to score a lot if you're San Diego State. That's what makes them so scary, is if they can just score 60 points, they think they can win the game because of how good their defense is. On the other hand, FAU, 35-3 and three on the year, and they're also a good defense in their own right. San Diego State only gives a 57, FAU only gives a 66, which is still solid defensively. That's, that's no slouch, it just shows how good San Diego State is. But FAU, like I said, 35-3, and three. this team is not a Cinderella. Technically, yes, they are, but they are better than any other so-called Cinderella team that's gone deep in the past. Your Wichita States, your George Masons, your VCUs, they're better than all that. They're 35-3. and three. They come into this game on an 11-game win streak, and they took down, honestly, the darling of the tournament, Kansas State, which I did not see coming. That They finally, I, I in my last preview, I gave Florida Atlantic some hate. I said they hadn't really gone and played a great team yet this tournament you saw memphis in a game that anyone can argue could have gone either way they obviously end up going against a 16 seed in the second round tennessee obviously not a great four seed they were missing their point guard but they get that marquee win in madison square garden when honestly i think everyone was rooting for kansas state and marquis noel and keontae johnson but they get it done 79 76 Noel had a great game. He had 30 points, 12 assists, 5 steals again. He was crazy, but they held Keontae Johnson with only 9 points. And then they were just... I honestly don't know how they won that game at the end of the day. They turned it over 22 times compared to only Kansas State's 12. At the end of the day, it was the rebounding that did it. They outscored him. They doubled Kansas State's rebounding output. Kansas State only 22 rebounds. Florida Atlantic had 44. Vlad Golden, 14-13. He was probably the MVP of that game. But they're similar to San Diego State, where as you don't know where you're going to get the scoring, Nick Boyd, only four points in that game. He had the game winner in the first game. Janelle Davis, he had a solid 13, but he had 25 in the game against, I want to say it was fairly Dickinson. He had 25 in that game. So you don't know where you're going to get the scoring for both these teams. Now, at the end of the day, I'm going to have to make a pick for this game. And I really, I don't know where to go because at this point, there's no reason you can't pick either either team. If I pick San Diego State, the Florida Atlantic people will tell me that you can't be sleeping on Florida Atlantic. They've come this far. You picked against them every game. 
and I think I have other than the Fairly Dickinson. I didn't even do a Fairly Dickinson preview, but I've picked against Florida Atlantic in every game. San Diego State, I actually said with my head, or my my head told me to go with San Diego State over Creighton. My heart was rooting for Creighton, but again, if I was a betting man, I said I was going to take San Diego State in that game. With that being said, sorry, FAU fans, I'm going San Diego State. I think this team is more talented. I think they have a better defense, and at the end of the day, defense wins championships. There's a reason they're this far. There's a reason Florida Atlantic's this far. But San Diego State has now beaten two really good teams in a row, and I think they continue that. Typically, Final Four games are often low scoring. It's sometimes hard to shoot in these big football stadiums they play in. They're playing at NRG in Houston. Um, so, give me give me San Diego State in this one. They move on. No spread has come out yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be a couple points in favor of San Diego State. Probably take the under in this game. I think it's probably going to be a 50s, maybe low 60s type of game. Give me San Diego State to pull it out. Go on play in the national title game one of these two teams will be in the national title that is just wild and they'll play either yukon miami or texas so san diego state give me them to beat fau in the final four